Good morning. <laughs> Let me start playing. Good morning, babes. Welcome back to another video with Ty. If you're new here, thank you so much for watching. And if you are a returning babe, thank you for coming back, girl. That love does not go unnoticed. I'm on here. But today is Monday. I just got out of the tub and doing some skincare. Currently about to oil my hair. Ooh, okay. I don't like to light all my braids until they are like three, four days in because yeah that's just when i like to do it now i'm about to take my probiotics <laughs> these two little nails i probably want to get my nails done wednesday so yeah that's pretty much what's going on i'm about to clock into work and good news about that girl but good news about that my manager just texted me and told me that my um part-time ah, my part-time shift literally got approved And I'm just like, what? Y'all really love me at this job. Y'all really favor me in this job. Listen, when you ask God to please give you favor, okay, in the workplace. Mm, mm, mm. Like, I feel so blessed, girl. Like, oh, I just feel so blessed, seriously. I got so much on my desk. It's like, I try to stay organized, but this room is just like, so i'm super blessed i'm super excited it's just like when i'm part-time um my spirit is just like i can just do my job the way i really want to do my job so i'm just super grateful that they you know worked with me on that i'm just super 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 grateful that's all i can really say it's like the things that we ask him for is only it's only a portion of what he really want to do in our life because at the end of the day, he knows. He he already have our life planned out for us, literally. So it's like, oh, you want that? Well, I was thinking better, you know what I'm saying? And one thing I had to learn as well, um, one thing about God, he is not a Indian giver and he doesn't give us things and takes them away. So I had to learn the difference between what the devil will lend to you and what God gives you, okay? <clears throat> oh, that's a word. So many times in my life, you know what I'm saying, I've prayed for things, you know, selfish things, things that really didn't even matter, things that were not important at all. And then when, you know, it wouldn't work out so well, I would ask God, like, God, you know, well, I must did something wrong. Or God, you know, why did you take this away from me? And you know what I'm going through. You know what I need. You know this, you know that. And it's like, girl, <laughs> if only you knew, okay, what God gives he doesn't take it away. He wanted to be everlasting. And, it's, and sometimes things are just only for a season as well. You know what I'm saying? It's everything that you want, need, and desire. You can't have it in every season, you know? So it's just like, I'm just learning. I'm so blessed and so grateful that I'm learning just so much at a very young age. All right, y'all. Good night. <laughs> It's my good morning. It's 8.37 and we just left Chick-fil-A. I just wanted to check in with y'all because I don't think I spoke with y'all yesterday. Um, I've been on my monthly and girl, it's been monthly and okay. So I really just haven't been doing too much of anything. Just been chilling. But I'm going to show y'all my cop salad. So delish. I get mine with the chicken strips. Yeah, that's what's going on. Just wanted to check in with y'all. Tomorrow is Wednesday. It's going to be my last day of work for the week. But I am going to pick up a few shifts. So I probably work five days this week, girl, honestly, because we are getting closer to the move-in date. And I just want to make sure that, you know, once we move, we straight. So I'll probably pick up a few more shifts. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all. I'll check in with y'all tomorrow once I get to starting my morning. I'll probably spend my morning with y'all because I'm really trying to get up, like, at least two, three hours before it's time for me to clock in. So, let's see how that works tomorrow, girl. All right, girl. So, today is... Today is Thursday. Ooh, today is Thursday, and I'm currently heading out to my um, doctor's appointment where we're about to grab a bite to eat first and then head out to my doctor's appointment. Um, what time is it? It's 12.15. So, yeah, that's what's going on. 
And I can't forget to take my probiotics. All right, glasses on. I'm gonna grab my daily devotional and my water. And let's head out, girl. That's the dryer. All right, catch up with y'all once we get to the restaurant. Literally, I could barely eat anything. This is everything I got left. I'm so full. Let me show y'all a bay plate. He still got a lot left. Isn't that so crazy? When you pass by your old middle school and high school, like what? I'm literally grown. Oh, so crazy. We are on the way to Target now because we need to get some tissue and some flushable wipes. That's literally it. All right, girl. We in Target, and when I tell y'all, it smells so good in here. It smell like pumpkins and fall. I wonder why Target don't sell the brand. You remember the brand they used to sell? Their brand. I used to love those wipes. Ugh. I'm gonna have to just get the other with a little cinnamon, feminine whites, but they. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bobby suits. So cute. I really feel like it's like a little skims dupe. That it's like that little buttery feel to it. I just wish it wasn't a bodysuit. Like I wish it was like a real, you know, t shirt. Fit. some hair accessories, bro. Y'all, <sighs> what? Girl, why is this gorgeous? Only $25. They got them in TJ Maxx, too. Oh, <laughs> 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 This house right here always doing it big like for any holidays we used to always come here for like um halloween and all of that all right girl so i'm out of my doctor's appointment everything went well so now we're about to head to the nail shop and then back home i guess Same color or another? Um, yeah, I'm gonna switch up the color. Same color? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the dip powder, the acrylic. Drop 45 with the, I don't drop for you the length today. I just drop the regular for refill 45 with the jewel, 10 dollar more, 55. Okay. all right girl good afternoon today is friday friday the 13th and i'm currently about to get ready um take a quick shower so i can head out and go to my eye appointment i'm super excited for this because listen it's time for some new glasses even though my glasses are still good i just want like a different frame and i honestly should have got those target glasses that i've seen and just asked them if they could like put a prescription in them which i knew they could but i wasn't thinking as you guys seen i read my devotional i did a little bit of journaling talked to god today i read my bible um we're gonna talk about this 75 soft girl because listen i started over and i'm about to start over again because it just have not been given for me like something has been going on literally every day and it's honestly been my health and now that you know i have my health situation together i think now i can finally just think clearly and you know what 
and know what my daily routine need to be, you know, based on my health and all of these things. So now that I've gotten all of this stuff worked out and I pray in Jesus mighty name that everything is good with me, I can think clearly without worrying or, you know, fear, letting those things just rule over in my mind. So, so honestly, I'm just about to scratch this 75 soft for now and really just focus on bettering my habits. Um, that's going to be 75 soft anyway. It's just working out and not thinking too much on a challenge or a goal and really just trying to make things a daily routine for me because listen i can only do what i can do and what i can do is my best and if i try my best every day get up every day and do the things that i know i need to do then we should be fine i'm gonna take my shower take my vitamins i'm actually about to start by taking my d3 today because i have been slipping up on taking this and this is essential for us pcos girlies so um definitely about to start by taking my d3 so i'm gonna leave that out as well and yeah i really need to buy some magnesium and i need to buy some more tea as well so i may go to the store today or tomorrow but whenever i go you guys will see so yeah we made it back here so now i'm about to do this little test if you know you know but it's past overdue for new glasses i need that blue light since i work from home i should have been did that but i wasn't thinking and i got these earrings from my grandmother she not getting them back but Good afternoon. Today is Saturday and we're currently about to go on a little oops. We're currently about to go on a little walk. All right, girl. I know it's dark, but we're currently about to go on a walk. I just want to show y'all my little walking outfit. Of course, I got my Nike shoes on <laughs> and we're about to go for a walk. Then we're going to head to at home because I really want to check out a few things that they have in there. We have, we've never been in there before and we are about to move. So I just want to see, you know, the little things that they have in there. I did my hair in these two cute little ponytails, but my husband is waiting on me, girl. I just wanted to pop in, let y'all know what's going on. I also got my Bible, my daily devotional and my journal because while I'm out there, I'm also, I'm going to read and just spend some time with God. Just really not trying to be in a rush today and do anything because listen, girl, I haven't eaten anything today. So we definitely have to put something on our stomach, but I'll catch up with y'all once we get to the park and start walking and, you know, get out in nature, get up and move the body. Okay. if i told you guys but i have went back to genesis um i'm gonna do some bible studies with y'all today because girl i just been missing doing bible studies with y'all but now that i'm back on track and you know just feel better about my relationship with the lord um i definitely want to do better with just spreading um you know the word and just evangelizing more and really just spreading the word of god more than anything so yeah, I have been back in Genesis. I'm currently on chapter three. And now um, I'm at the point where Adam and Eve have ate from off the tree. They listened to the serpent and God is now basically cursing them and letting them know what the um, repercussion basically of committing this sin is going to do for them. So, so now I'm on verse 16, chapter three, where he's telling Adam, 
to the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow in your conception. So basically, from this point forward, when you have kids, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be painful. But pulling up Enduring, enduring Word, which y'all know I love Enduring Word, and um, it just gives me more clarity of the word and really breaks down the word. Why did God particularly make it painful for us to you know, conceive children. And it's greater than just actually bearing a child and conceiving a child. You know, mothers care for their children like no other. You know, it's nothing like a mother's love. So just the pain and suffering of children in general, watching them grow up, you know, teaching them the ways of life, you know, seeing them, you know, um, go through heartbreak and seeing them having to bump their head on their own, you know, and just really just seeing all of the pain and sorrow of having a child in general. It's, it's a good thing to have a kid, but to know that we all have to leave our children one day and allow them to, you know, navigate the world on their own is something that, you know, it's painful, it's sorrowful. So it's deeper than just conceiving a child. That's why I say like the word is just so, man, it's so strategic. And when you get a chance to really break it down, everything really starts making more sense. So, um, yeah, he told her, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and pain. You shall bring forth children and your desire shall be for your husband and he shall rule over you. Now, this is something that I was really like, you know, tussling with because I'm like, okay, Lord, why is it a... Is it a punishment for us to, you know, have our husband rule over us? So basically... You know, now we have a desire for our husband that that basically they never really had for us. So it gets very deep. It gets very, very deep. I'm going to put like some stuff on the screen as well because I don't have my um, I don't have my laptop where I usually like do my Bible studies on. So now we go on to um, to Adam. Then to Adam, he said, because you have heeded, you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you saying, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for your sake and toil. You shall eat of it all the days of your life. The fact that he said, you shall eat of it all the days of your life. The fact that this food that we're consuming wasn't even going to be earthly things you know what i'm saying the fact that our foods are girl it's so much going on with the foods in this world all this poison all these recalls that's been going on it's been recalls on eggs milk water recalls on water so moving on to 18 both thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you and you shall eat the herb of the field in the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. So basically, you're going to have to work hard for every single thing that you want, need, and desire in this world. Just imagine what it would be like if we didn't have to work so hard for the things that God had already given us. It's the fact that he made us work for it instead of giving it to us because all of these things he told them in the beginning of the word he says see i have given you every herb that yields a seed which is on the face of all the earth and every tree whose fruit yields seed to to you it shall be for food also to every beast of the earth to every bird of the air and to everything that creeps on the earth in which there is life I have given. Then God saw that everything that he made, and indeed it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. So the fact that he seen that everything from that point forward that he had made was good. You know, it's, it's, it just gets so deep. Like, it really does. It gets so deep. So a few things that I just want to go over um, that I wrote in my notes yesterday was the first the first emotion that I feel like we as humans felt was fulfill, fulfillment. Why do I say the first emotion that we felt was fulfillment was because before they ate off the tree, they never recognized that they were naked. All right, y'all. So this is me in real time. <laughs> what today is? Today is September the 16th. And I really just wanted to dive a little bit deeper on that aspect of what I was trying to say um when it came down to fulfillment so the reason why i say the first emotion was definitely fulfillment because everything that god had did everything that god had created he saw that it was good and adam saw that it was good as well and eve also saw that it saw that it was good but when she got deceived by the serpent she started to realize that wait a minute we're not covered up we don't have exactly what we need so the fact that you know 
this serpent was driven by Satan. The fact that Satan wanted the first thing for us to really like step out of was the emotion of fulfillment. Because now that we don't have a, a emotion of fulfillment, we're never ever going to be fully, what is the word? I'm not going to say we're never going to be, but it's going to be a little bit harder to feel fulfilled, even though God is so gracious, even though God is still so good, even though God still show up for us, it's still going to have to take some big faith, you know, and patience for us to feel fulfilled. And, you know, God is still so good because even though it's like he had a backup plan for everything. The fact that we stepped out of the we stepped out of the the state of feeling fulfilled, he still had a big F to replace that fulfillment, and there was faith. So that we're lacking certain things, even though we feel like you know we we don't know how we're going to get from point A to point B. He has given us something, and it's called faith. And as long as we stay you know true to that, and as long as we hold on to that, then we're going to forever be fulfilled. They didn't even think they needed to be wise because they were already good they had already had the basic instructions from the lord so why should we be wise we should follow in his own steps so the fact that the sermon the serpent had to deceive her and tell her listen if you eat from this tree you're gonna become like god you're gonna know what he know you're gonna become wise fear was the second emotion the reason why i say that fear was the second emotion that they felt because immediately after they ate they got scared. They covered their self up because they, they felt naked and they hid from the Lord. Why did they hide from the Lord? Okay. And to piggyback on that, you know what I'm saying? The fact that as soon as they ate off the tree, they immediately covered themselves up because they felt naked and they felt a sense of fear creep up on them and they were embarrassed. They were ashamed. The fact that the Lord had to call out to them and say, where are you? The fact that he, when he said that, he knew that they were in the garden, but the fact that they were, he knew that they were hiding. He automatically knew that something was not right because why aren't y'all in the place where I set y'all to be? Why aren't y'all, you know, doing the things that we told each other that we all was going to do? We came into agreement with this. So where are you? Not specifically saying the location, but where are you internally? Where are you spiritually? And lastly, when they ate off the tree, they unlocked the unknowing part of life. See, God is so good. God is so good. The fact that God didn't want us to stress and worry about the knowings of life, the, I don't even want to say the responsibilities of life because he still gave Adam and Eve a responsibility to take care of the grounds that they were walking on. But the, the unknowing part of life, the, the part that doesn't unlock fear, the part that doesn't unlock doubt, the part that doesn't unlock just an unknowing of what's going to happen, worrying about tomorrow, the fact that when they ate off the tree, they instantly knew. They knew what was going on. They were aware of what was going on and they felt like they had a responsibility. They felt like they had to sew fig, fig leaves together and cover up when they were already perfect the way that they were. I think we as humans are very, very, very curious. And if we, if we don't catch ourselves, we'll become too curious on the works of the Lord because it's easy to say like, wow, how can someone do all of this how can someone you know make cr create humans how can a person do all of this and you can't look at god as a person because he's not a person you know he existed outside of time he was created outside of time like we can't even begin to fathom and understand the depths of the lord like literally so um you know that just showed me to not be not be too curious in life and not be so easily deceived on what presents itself to look good because everything that looks good is not good you know what i'm saying trust god and know that what he has for you right here in this moment that he has placed in your life right here in this moment you were meant to have and you have to go through trials and tribulations and walk that road and go through the things that he wants us to get through because i feel like before we can get through the blessing we have to it's a preparation journey the journey of our life is literally preparation it's preparing us for the everlasting life it's not preparing us for all of the materialistic things that we have in this world. It's not preparing us for nothing in this world. The journey of life is literally preparing us to walk through those heavenly gates when it's all over. Because we can't take none of this with us. Oh, my God. Be my team.
$39. They ain't bad, but I want the good kind. I'm, I'm going to cash out on the $100. How much is it? I don't know. Um, it should have a price on here. It's a, what is this, light gray? Mm, it's really cute, though. I like it. I really do like this. Hmm. Because I really do want to get another couch. $5.49, girl. And this is a good size, okay, real, y'all. So this is really the look that I'm going for. It's 600, which is not bad at all. And this is a good size. Let me see how I feel. It's supposed to be sitting on this. But, um, I love it. Just picture me. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I love this. But I'm really going for like something like this now instead of like a actual coffee table. Mm. Like something like, you know, this. Just object, yeah. real minimalistic, a statement piece. See, Could yeah. definitely use these for nightstands. They're accent That's tables, but heavy. I'm in the wall. Mm -hmm. So. Check yep. I love this. I'm also going for something like this for inside of the living room, especially since we have a fireplace. Um, three fifty nine is not bad, but I know for a fact I probably could find it cheaper on Amazon somewhere. But okay, they got headboards. We're definitely getting a freaking headboard this time. Love these bar stools. I wonder how much they are. But I love like actually the black and white little flow. The white one 89. The white one 89, so both of them gotta be 89 then. But the white one's all black and white. But honestly, look at the black and white together don't look bad. Of course it don't look bad. It's black and white. <laughs> Alright, that's really fine. It's just the game. I am jumping to It don't look bad. Okay. This one 109. That's really pretty. I love this. Oh yeah, these are nice. But we need a bag. Oh, okay. Wow. Y'all. These may be the ones. How much is it? $169, which is not bad. And we only need like two of them, honestly. It's only me and my husband, so. Come back in. Just get this one. Let me see what baby. love this beauty area because we really moving in right when fall is approaching so we getting this pillow candy caramel apple I think